Hey everybody, Average Picker here. Um, yeah, so this is the second time I'm introducing this video. I'm picking on this multi, and I thought, you know what, I'll just sit down and I'll start recording a practice. I don't have a key for this multi. I'm not even sure which multi this is, um, and nor have I ever picked it before. In fact, I've never picked a multi before. Um, some more light help? Mm, probably not. Um, but yeah, I actually kind of got somewhere. <laughs> I ended up in a false and thought, oh yeah, I could actually capture this on open. Um, but after about eight minutes, um, I completely just lost all the tension on it. So I thought, okay, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's restart the camera and go back to our picking. The problem is, I just want it back into that false that I had. I feel like that's the one I'm always oversetting. Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, I am feeling movement on the on the core. Not much, and we're not in that false. But what I'm guessing is these have pin and pins. And so if I'm getting it false, I've got to just be oh oh that was terrible. I've got to just be sitting in that uh, in one of those pins, right? If I'm getting a deep false, that's what it would seem to me, anyway. Okay, that was something, but not what we had before. Coming in on the other side. Oh, oh. All right. I don't know if that's the same depth of false we had before, but that is definitely a false. Now, what, what happened last time was I think it's pin five. I could tell. It was just, it kept overlifting. And so right now I'm really tentative about it. I mean, it definitely, that's the one that feels bound, right? But I know from last time when I tried to lift it, it definitely, and it gives me counter rotation.
when I try to lift it, it um, it just seems to overset and I lose the false. So I'm really tentative. I don't want to just do the same thing I did last time. So I scooted back past it and I'm just checking the back pins. And I hate, this is that moment, you know, where it just, it feels so close, but so far. I can already tell. I'm just. I'm, I'm lift. It. The lift is just too high. What I'm trying to do. There's just no way. That it's that high of a lift, right? Oh, we are in a deeper false. I'm. You're, there's going to be swearing if this uh, if this thing opens. Oh, trying not to. Uh, Say fuck me gently with the chainsaw, <laughs> and uh, it's also about ten till three a.m., so I can't get too excited and start screaming, right? Oh my goodness! But now I've got to gut it, right? I've never oh, I had gutted one of these, but God, it's been a long time. All right, let's do everything legit here and leave it in frame. Oh, oh gosh, no, don't, the camera, don't come loose. All right, guys, so I, let me put this in perspective for you. I suck at dimple picking, and I've been slowly trying to work on it. There we go. Um, oh, I don't have a key. All right, let's, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I've been slowly trying to work on it, and this is my first multi pick. First multi that I've picked. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited actually. This is a, uh... and you know what? I've got to say, like either I am legitimately getting better. God, I do not want to walk this thing up, but I don't know what I need to grab pulling this thing out. Um, yeah, so... I'm just gonna hold on to the whole kit and caboodle, I guess, as it comes out. No, 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 no. Oh, what's going on? Something's wrong. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. 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 I so do not want to relock this thing. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, shims. Let's. Do I have? I've got a crusty old shim here. Um, let's get a shim in. That will surely help, right? Shims. 
Jim not wanting to behave. Probably because the shim is old and crusty. Do I have, oh, I do see some new ones, but now this one's pretty much in there. Guys, this is like, this is really exciting for me. I know a lot of you out there, God, this thing's greasy. I know a lot of you out there have picked these and can pick these all day long in your sleep. But this is a big deal for me. All right. Um, tweezers. So I will just... Uh, Hold that up there. I'm kind of nervous knocking these out. I don't want to. Mess them up. I'm just all around nervous about this whole thing, man. This is. I know you come out. Okay. Oh! Son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, let's just, let's move on. Let's move on. This is going to be a horrible video. We will just have to accept that. These are really quite in there. They're not really. All right. I could not believe that shot across the room back into this corner over here. I do have an idea of where to go to look for it. Um, so there's at least that. Man, this thing is greasy inside. Um, so yeah, I got that going for it. Um, What I will probably do is I probably will put a cut in this video to go retrieve that pin. Um, you know, I don't know if that delegitimizes the pick or not. If I do it once, I can do it again, right? Um, Of course I can, actually. Who am I kidding? I can completely believe it.
All right. All right, let's um let's bring the camera in here. Well, let's see what we can do. So yeah, there we go. And you can see what's happened is uh, pin six flew across the room. So yeah, there is that. Oh, I keep, sorry, I'm literally hand-holding this thing. Um, so what we're gonna do, so we're gonna put a cut in. I'm gonna go retrieve that pin and then come back. Um, I guess I should have slid these out. I don't even know. Little pin and pins. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Actually, or should I just leave it run for a minute? I can leave it run, right? And if it takes me too long, I can always add the cut in. So let's do that. Okay, I did actually just find uh, the outer bit of the pin. What's this? I found some other little bit of a pin. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. Nope. Not it. What if that inner pin did not actually fly off the table? That would be a possibility. It's holding it here. And it went flying.
I feel like the luckiest damn picker right now. Because I just found it. So there we go. I know that's not a good thing. I know you don't have a good picture of it. I am going to do a cut now. I am going to put a cut now in. We'll flip the camera around, I guess, and take a look. And there we go. I know this video has run long, guys. I am sorry about that. But along with the gutting disaster, that is my first... Uh, That's my first multi pick. I don't know which multi this is. It's whatever this one is. I'm sure that's just probably the basic one. This one's quite old. Um, I got it quite cheaply actually. <laughs> A while back off of eBay. Um, I actually bought it probably before I was even close to preparing um, to pick these. just because it was pretty cheap. Another one up in there. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm rather ecstatic um, about that. So, yeah, there we go. Celebrate. Man, am I actually making progress on this dimple thing? Or is this one just stupid easy? You know, I do feel like... Um, this was easier than some cheaper ones I have picked. Uh, you know, part of it's, there's a lot of room in there. You And you could see me doing it working from both angles, both sides of it. Um, as opposed to some of the other ones, there's only one way really to get in. You're kind of stuck with that way. Um, so, yeah. But there we go. I've got some, um, you know what, is that the same... That's the other one. Is that the same as this? I'm guessing that's the same lock. This one's just newer. Same lock type. I'll do this one next. All right, guys, anyway, long video. Sorry, but I'm incredibly happy and uh, I'm glad I found that pin. That was the worst. Oh. Have a good one, everybody.